The James Webb Space Telescope has revealed the secrets of WASP-107b, a distant Neptune-like gas giant. I hope you enjoyed our very first AI-generated newscaster. Today I'm going to show you how you can create a worldwide news channel with just AI. Here we are in Credo AI Generation Interface. Below you can select one of the newscasters. Then on the top left, once you pick your newscaster, you can click on Digital Human Video. Once you've done that, it presents you with many options, male, female, or any type, young or old. Here I'm just making a slight adjustments to the height and length of the newscaster. Once you're done with that and you feel comfortable, direct your attention over to the right. Here you're presented with many options to choose from, videos that are up to a couple of seconds. You can upload images from your own desktop or images from the actual program. In this case, I'm just gonna go ahead and use a green screen and I'll tell you why later because I'm gonna use Canva. And through Canva, I'm gonna create my own news studio. Go ahead and paste your text that your newscaster is going to say. Now you can create your own news or generate it from another news site. You don't wanna get cited for any copyrights infringements, so you can use ChatGPT to create its own dialogue. Once you're doing that, go ahead and click on Generate Video. In this case, you can upgrade or just use about two minutes of free footage is what they allow you to. Once you're done here, you'll see it's generating, and then I'll skip over to Canva. Here I am in Canva, we'll go ahead and create design. I'm going to create a video. Then on the left, you want to look for elements and type in news channel. And Canva gives you many options to choose from. I'm just going to go ahead and use this one here below. And we pull it over to our right of the screen. Once we've completed that, you want to go ahead and select download. And then I'll put it on my desktop. And that way, I'll just put it into my editing software. Here you have it. I want to use the intro as well as the background for the newscaster. Okay, we're almost about done here. Let's pull up CapCut, which is what I'm going to use for my editing. You can use Camtasia if you like. In this case, today I'm going to be using CapCut. So go ahead and go into CapCut. Now for the sake of time, I've already done most of the editing. The most important thing here is the cutout because we do want to add a chroma key and take out the green screen. We just basically pull over the magnifying glass and then we can make an adjustments to it. There you go. You don't want to see the green highlight there so you can just keep adjusting the strength and the shadow and you'll figure it out. You'll get it just about right here. Once you do that and you feel comfortable, we just go ahead and want to add music now. And you can use anything from CapCut if you like, or go to YouTube. In this case, I'll just use CapCut and add some audio. And once we're done that, we just go ahead and export and put it on our timeline. And we're pretty much good to go here. Go ahead and export and our job is complete. Hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. The James Webb Space Telescope has revealed the secrets of WASP-107b, a distant Neptune-like gas giant. Webb estimate infrared instruments detected...